In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new server for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.17. The IP can be found in the description down below along with the port and let's get started in today's awesome video. Alright guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this server right over here. The IP is play.destinycraftpe.com and the port is simply default 19132. So make sure you save the IP and the port and once you're done with that, we can join this amazing server. Alright guys, here I am in the server rights over here and one thing you will immediately notice is that it is actually Japanese themed over here. So as you can tell, there's a lot of Japanese builds over here and there's so many games for us to play. So if we go over here, we get access to all the games over here. So anyways, here is the game modes that this server has to offer. We have factions right over here, prisons, we also have the dojo, I'll explain that in a minute. We have information and we have crates and a role play. So literally everything for us to do, um, you know, it's a lot honestly and over here, we actually have the links as well. So if you want to join the Discord server link for the server, then feel free to do so. You guys can also vote and of course go to the store to purchase some amazing ranks. But anyways, guys, let's go over here and I'm going to explain this one over here. This one is actually a bank exchange and essentially you, um, you have to get 1 billion DCD, which is basically the Destiny Craft currency, right? And you can trade that in for real American money. So if you guys want a way to get free money, literally just play on this server over here. So boys, you should definitely grind the server because if you get that much stuff, then you can actually trade it in for real money, like actual money that you can use in the real world. And that's honestly very cool. By the way, guys, I'm using a pack right now, Blueberry 16X, which can be found in the description down below. All right, guys, let's go to the dojo over here. For those guys who don't know, dojo is basically like a 1v1 area. Or so where you and your friends can 1v1. So here is the dojo right over here. And it is basically an arena for your friends, um, you know, to PvP. In. So if you guys want to PvP with some people, then definitely go to the dojo over here. It's super duper amazing. We also do get the amount of players that are online, our money, our faction, how much our faction is worth, and our cords. But anyways, guys, if you want to go back to hub, then all you got to do is type in a slash spawn right over here, and it's going to take you back to the hub. The next game mode we're going to be taking a look at is a Prisons. Prisons is a very underrated game mode, and I figured to why not feature it in today's awesome video. So um, we have a bunch of mines over here. Obviously, the more mines you go, like the better they will get. But we're going to go to the very starter mine over here, which is mine number eight. And then we are going to be teleported right over here. And as you can tell, we have a fresh new mine over here. And basically what you got to do is you got to break all these blocks over here. And that's how you get money in the game. And then once you get enough of it, you can actually trade it in to get real life money. And I just think that's really cool. So that's why I had to make a video about this server right over here. So we're going to be breaking the ground over here. There's so many different mines over here. This is just one of many mines. There's also a mine with like gold blocks and ice and all that. And that's really cool. And of course, if you guys want to sell your blocks, then all you got to do is type in slash uh, SH right over here. And then we sold our entire inventory for 16 bucks right over there. So that was pretty easy. Keep in mind, this is only the starter one. So obviously it may not be the most or anything like that, but that's still pretty cool. And you guys can also go over here to rank up to the B. So we need to get $8,000 in order to go to the B mine. So it definitely might take a while, but I personally think it is worth it. The next game mode we're going to be taking a look at is the faction game mode. For those guys who don't know, factions is basically clans versus clans where you and a bunch of your friends gear up together and you're basically in a survival world. You're supposed to be the richest one out there. You guys can raid other people's faction bases and all that. And it's just very fun. So anyways, guys, in order to get started with faction what you want to do is you got to go to the chat right over here and it will actually give us a bunch of stuff that we can use so for example we could do slash home to teleport us to home and all that but we are going to be going to the wild over here so go over here to uh slash wild and it will randomly teleport you anywhere in the world so bam here we are we just spawned in right over here and we can start our faction journey over here uh, once again factions is essentially clans versus clans um in survival mode and that's honestly really cool so that is definitely a major your w in my book also it does tell you your coordinates as well so you guys can use that in order to communicate with your team and all of that and oh look at that we literally have like a full-on bridge over there and a farm oh my god yo we just found someone's faction base oh my god yo i'm raiding this i'm raiding this this is my faction i'm kidding i'm kidding but and look guys it's really fun because you can find so much cool stuff that people have built over like the couple months that this server has been up so that is definitely a major plus about this server like literally this server is a very polished and definitely gives me a lot of high pixel vibes so i'm just going to be going back to spawn right over here but 
Anyways, now that we're over here, let's go to the next game mode, which is actually role play. So role play is pretty underrated. I'm pretty sure it's only, you know, kind of new. And essentially, it is a giant city map over here. But guys, do not underestimate how fun roleplay is because there's actually a lot of custom 3D models. I know there's a soccer ball and like fully functioning cars as well. But here is the school over here. This is where you can start, where you and your friends can just roleplay. We have tags, which are coming soon. And we have uh, roleplay help and so much other cool stuff as well. But let's go to the useful command section. Oh, okay. So this is how we get it. So we can do slash car in order to get a car, food, pistol, and ammo. Oh my goodness. Okay. I did not know this roleplay had guns. <laughs> well, yo, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And um, this is actually a really big city map. There's a lot of cool features that it has to offer. And that's honestly really cool. So anyways, let's go over here and let's actually test out the commands. So we're going to be doing slash car right over here. And okay, so a car costs that much. So it is kind of a lot of money. And yo, they literally have a full on McDonald's as well. Dude, that is so cool. Okay, okay, yeah, this is one of my favorite servers out there. They have a full on McDonald's as well. And just so many other cool buildings. So you can definitely, you know, make a full on role play with your friends on the server. You know, it definitely is possible. All right, but let's go to information right to be here and over here It'll basically give you a brief description on how to do everything on the server and one cool thing You know one cool command they have is night vision So we can do slash NV and it could be on I believe I think it's on yeah There we go We just gave ourselves night vision over there Which is pretty poggers and over here we have the guide section So if you want more information on how to actually play the server then go to this area right over here Which is of course also is in Japanese themed and also I want to give credits to the person who built it which is called DZ Joe he's a real architect from Hong Kong and this is all thanks to him but anyways let's go to faction guides right over here and here is all of the commands that we can use so if you guys want to make your own factions then uh, that's basically all you have to do and we have to have 50k in order to start a faction okay I did not know that and uh, here's how to claim land and all that and do slash warps all right that's actually really cool that's really cool so go to these um you know signs over here if you want a guide and over here we have more information and we can uh over here is the prison guides so it goes from a to z and that's how you rank up that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and by the way make sure to check out the bycraft of the server because it actually features uh the rank called prestige and basically if you have prestige rank then you get access to some pretty op mines that give you like a lot of money at a time so it definitely is a good investment and also consider the fact that um, you know whenever you do mine enough then you can actually trade that in for real money Which is something that I've never seen a server do so that's honestly very unique So we're gonna go back over here to spawn and let's take a look at crates because this server also does feature a plethora of amazing crates over here so over here we have the rank crate over here, we have the monarch cake, uh, we have the squire uh, crate over here, the cardinal crate, and the vote crate over there. And over here it says to open the crates, hold the crate keys, and tap on the crate box. Alright, so we actually do have a key right over here. And to get crate keys, mine ice blocks in mine E and get up to relics. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So we have to get to mine E, because if you did not know, it does go from A to Z. All right, we're gonna open up the square cake uh, right over here. And oh my goodness, yo, we get a OP chest plate over there. Oh my god, and we get more stuff as well. Okay, we get golden apple. Oh wait, no, oh wait, no. Okay, okay, so that's how it works. So the crate gives you a chance to get one of these items, and it just so happens that we got the uh, the chest plate. So that's pretty cool. And over here we have a rank crate. So. I'm gonna explain this one. Basically what you do is you pay $15 and you have a chance of getting a really good crate or a decent crate. Um, not a bad crate necessarily, but you know, you could get a decent to good crate. Uh, so it really is up to you guys if you want to, you know, test out that feature. And thank you Destiny Craft for sponsoring this video. The IP can be found in the description down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later French fries.